you are emotionally attached to Fulani headsmen. Undo replies, Presidency. The Undo state government has faulted the reaction of the Presidency to the order by the state governor banning the operation of unregistered Fulani headsmen in its forest. The State Commissioner for Information and Orientation, Donald Ojogo, made the position of the government known shortly after the senior special assistant to President Mohamed Buhari, Malam Gabashew, faulted Akero mm -hmm. position via Twitter on Monday. Ojogo said mm -hmm. the statement by Shew had stated unambiguously the position of the federal government. The Ondo state government did not ask Fulani to leave the state. The governor said headsmen who are unregistered should leave our forest. The statement from Gaba Show is brazen display of emotional attachment and it's very inimical to the corporate existence of Nigeria. We need clearly defined action on the part of federal government to decimate the erroneous impression that the inspiration of this criminal element masquerading as headsmen is that of power. Our unity is threatened, no doubt. Its statement states in a breath that the governor fights crime with passion while it is provocating on the atrocities. The question is, are the headsmen who are perpetrating murder, kidnapping and robbery more important than government and even the federal government in this case? Ethnic nationality and activism on the part of anyone hiding under the presidency of federal government is an ill wind. Only state governments stated. Thank you for listening to this news. Of course, that is how they feel. Don't you know? The, the federal government is directly attached to the headsmen. Even the federal government itself is headsmen themselves. Who make up the federal government? Who make up this administration? This administration is an administration of the headsmen. Asso Rock is filled with headsmen. Who are the people in office? The headsmen are the people in office. Don't you know? Oh, you are still asking. You better don't ask again. Because the people in power are the headsmen. The Fulanese are the ones in power. They are the ones in decision making. They are the ones taking decisions. So we cannot we cannot say anything except they dis except they finalize. You understand? So they are the ones in power. Let us not even go far. Look at Buari. Buari is an also an headsman. That is why he's supporting them. That is why he's praising them. That is why he's stopping you. No matter what he feels that they have done. He's telling you that you dare not touch them. <laughs> My dear viewer, I felt it and I knew it. That any that Buari will never forgive anyone that will challenge the headsmen. Is he not a part of them? He's a part of them. He is also an headsman. He is the president. He's a president. How do you think that he will feel seeing you torturing his, 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 the, the members of his association? He will not feel better. So that is why he is daring uh, uh, Akero Dulu, telling him that you can't, the, you can't chase the headsman. Look at the, the confidence. He was telling him that you cannot. He's daring him. <laughs> My dear viewers, I was laughing 
when I listened to many of our governors saying that Buhari is the right man for this country because he hasn't shown them, because he hasn't made them know the kind of person that he is. Now he's making them to know. He's now passing the message properly now. Everyone will now know the kind of person Buhari is, that he is not an ordinary person. Is not someone that you can trust or have confidence in. That is it. Is that not worry? Is that not him showing you his true color now? What do you have to say? You don't have anything to say and there is nothing you can say about it. Despite the atrocity that is seen the headsman committing, he has refused to utter a word. The only thing they can say is that you can't. So the chaos are even are, are now important than the people living in Oyo, than the people living in, in Ondo. Will he say that he is not aware of the atrocities these S-men are committing? He, will he say so? Hmm. Oh, it's good that we all are seeing what is happening. It's good. Let us all have a have a tip of it. Let us all have enjoy it because we all. We all shared in the scene. We all shared in it. So, I am not surprised. I am not surprised. One bit. And I can never be surprised. Alright? So, my dear viewers, we have really seen what we are all going through. You can imagine no, 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 no. This has gone, be careful. Completely be careful. We all need to come out this time around and voice out and say no to this intimidation because to me, it's an intimidation. To me, it's an intimidation. I don't know of you. How can the Fulanese, the headsmen, be killing us and yet we cannot have a voice? We cannot have a voice. When we decide to voice out, they will say, why are we voicing? The Fulanis are the one in charge of this country now. We are in Fulanis government. We are in Fulani government. Yes. I'm only laughing and mocking our uh -huh. evil governors. Because they, on their own side, have given their, their whole self to the Fulani man. They have given himself to the full animal that he, sh that, that he should take and do whatever he wants to do. Mm -hmm. That is what is happening. That is what is happening. <laughs> My viewers, please and please, uh -huh. I will appreciate it if you two can come in and air your own opinion concerning this issue. Please, deem it free to leave your comment below the comment box. Click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated whenever we upload any new videos. Thank you.